In life, we face many different obstacles and challenges. We have this false sense of happiness, be it be a million pair of shoes, the latest model car, the largest house on the block, or who we hobnob with. Happiness comes from within. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking all of those things, but we must put them in perspective. God has allowed me to be on this earth for 49 years and counting. One of the things I have learned was to be true to self. My life took a change and a new meaning from March the 6th, 2014 to present. As a child, I was full of energy, so my parents shared with me. As a teenager, a young adult, I struggled with low self-esteem, rejection, bitterness, and it spilled over into my adult life. While we all struggle with a lot of things, but afraid to talk about it, it can hinder us along the way. With all the potholes and roadblocks in my life, I made a couple of pit stops here and there, detours, and sometimes barricaded and isolated myself from people that generally loved and cared and wanted to help. So what I'm really trying to say is to know me is to love me. Cover Me Bold LLC was birthed through a season of recovering while everyone was wondering why this lady wear all those colors in every season. I was creating my own lane of fashion because to me, fashion is an expression and a talent. So sit back as I unfold bits and pieces of my personal and public journey, including style, challenge, and color. Hello everyone, I'm life coach and mentor Dr. Bernadine. It's a beautiful day to give thanks and celebrate life. Today, I'd like to talk about relationships. We're all surrounded and, Im and impacted by relationships from those that are close to us, particularly family members that we live in the house with. Family living should be safe, it should be loving, and it should be secure. Unfortunately, it's not always true. There are many problematic areas in the home and in the family, particularly Domestic violence is one of the things that I'd like to target today. Whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's psychological, it still has scarred the beauty and impacted the lives of the American family. Stats shows that there's one out of four women and one out of nine men. Whether it's been a partner violence or spousal violence, they have been impacted by domestic violence. The alarming stats continue to grow day by day, second by second. And this is not to mention the abuse of children, where family members are abusing children. In fact, researchers have estimated that between three to three and a half million children are exposed to domestic violence per year. Child abuse and spousal abuse is very easy, or it's more comfortable to talk about. But I want to pose a question today and talk a little bit about a issue with children abusing their parent. It's taboo, and researchers have said that because the parent perhaps have blamed themselves and perhaps kept it a secret, that they no longer really talk about openly when children abuse their parents. Today, I'm honored to have a life mother here, Cynthia Keith, also the founder of Cover Me Bold, who has experienced domestic violence and has decided to break her silence and come forth as it relates and regards to parent abusing children, or children rather, abusing their parent. Cynthia, if you would, you look so beautiful. Would you mind sharing your story with us today? Of course I would. Welcome. Thank you for having me on the show today. Yes. Um, I'm here to tell my story about domestic violence um, with my son. It's been about five years ago, March the 6th, 2014, I encountered uh, a physical um, 
interaction with my son. It was very unexpected, but um, it happened. And I've been silent for a very long time. So today I decided to um, break the silence, like you stated earlier, to inform people that domestic violence with um, children is very real. Um, so it, 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 it can come in many factors. There can be signs, but unfortunately I didn't pay attention to the signs that led to being abused by my son. Wow. Well, I'm just so glad that you're here to talk about your story and more than that, that you escaped or that you survived it. While many domestic violence experiences um, ends in fatalities, you're here today in living color to talk about yours. Did you see any of the signs coming? Did you ignore them? Yes, there were signs. I just ignored the signs that were there and particularly the signs that were shown um, had to deal with to me as mental illness, um, which that was silent. Um, there were times when um, my son would um, be fidgety and um, wouldn't talk. I think he was a introvert where he didn't talk about a lot of things and he kept them hidden. Um, so that was one of the signs that um, I noticed with him. And trying to get him help, he didn't want that help. Okay. So, so that, that yeah, that, that would have been my next question. Did yes. you did you pursue help? Uh, because there's so many contributing factors that uh, causes one to just go berserk. I mean, uh, it, it's it's you didn't hear that in, in the day of yesteryear of a child uh, coming against his parent. Yes. Uh, and you being a single mom, I understand it's not easy to raise children or a child. But God knows it's not easy for your own child to come against you in an abrasive way. Yes, it was very devastating. That situation was very devastating. But I'm truly grateful that um, I was raised um, in a home where religion and um, Christianity, prayer, most importantly, that's what saved my life. Um, speaking the blood of Jesus over my life and um, that, that was, was yeah surviving yeah yes. and I see today it's beautiful because you're wearing you're your surviving shirt your survival yes. shirt that's, that's powerful I am a survivor you are a survivor wow that's so great and what you have not allowed uh, domestic violence to do is to make you enslaved or bitter it appears that you've certainly become better and uh, it appears that you've been empowered because what happens is, is that in life challenges either you'll become bitter or better or you'll take it as a stepping stone and build uh, to the next level of living and it appears that you are free to live and uh, we're just grateful for that today that you have decided to come forth and so I'd like to talk a little bit now and switch it and I know in days to come that your story will continue because you have now uh, been given a voice and a platform to share your story this is a very uh, very needed subject to talk about and to help others because certainly you're not the only one but today we celebrate your surviving uh, that ordeal uh, let's go further I'd like to talk about something that's very exciting that's coming up you've not only kicked domestic violence in the rear end yeah <laughs> but you have used it as an empowering tool to move forward Forward. And from that, you have started your own business. Yay! You've launched uh, what uh, your line entitled Cover Me Bold. And uh, if you could tell us a little bit about what Cover Me Bold is all about, what it means to you, and how it represents your passion for living. Um, I think it started early on as a little kid. Um, I look at some of my pictures where I've always loved to dress up. So this didn't just start as an adult. It started um, in my younger years. So Cover Me Bold um, derived from both natural and spiritual. Um, it's, it's about color and it's about covering um, 
from head to toe. So I will be launching um, my sock line August the 18th and I'm very excited um, to be launching that um, collection um, along with many other things that will be produced from the sock line but the first thing is my socks which are very colorful which <laughs> displays yes. Yes. me as a person um, so I just decided to step out of the box and just wear a array of colors with fashion boldness and all of that so it's all wrapped up into um, fashion styling which um, that's my baby fashion is my passion absolutely and I'm, I hear that that you have a uh, name uh, social media and everyone knows you for Cynthia Shoeaholic yes yes so, I love shoes absolutely <laughs> yeah well you are certainly an array of color your spirit is bright uh, question will your line your collection cover me bowl will it be exclusively just for women or will you uh, have it men children will they the socks for them because they I'm sure they're gonna be so beautiful that they're gonna want a piece of the pie well right now it's just starting out with um, unisex male and female mm -hmm. I do look into having them for children um, because yes we do have fashionable kids um, this generation now it's all about fashion so yes and, you know I just want to say that I'm so proud of what you're doing um, because you've used this again as a platform and you're taking the color and the hues of fabric and you're intertwining it and in, to a statement that says you know what I am stronger than mm -hmm. what try to make me weak so I like this boldness and this attitude this passion for living it's absolutely beautiful and you wear it well might I add uh, will you take cover me bowl into uh, oh, let me may I should make or rather I should I say will you allow domestic uh, abuse and uh, violence to be uh, blessed by cover me bowl will you give back what will you do uh, in as much as cover me bowl uh, will be blessed by so many and people will certainly so into that and purchase your product in your line will you give back to domestic violence through that or through that business yes I have um, partnered with three different um, Chicagoland shelters where some of the proceeds that's coming from my sock line will be donated to those shelters where it can help other you know families giving back you know it's not so much about you know having your name in light and all of that it's also about giving back and that's um, a big thing to my heart and that's giving back to support others um, we don't know what people go through but sometimes people just like to know that someone out there cares and it's not all about themselves um, so yeah I'm very excited to be working with these shelters um, giving back to the community and eventually um, open up my own center that will house um, men and women and um, just the, the, the total body the total woman and man you know it's from teaching them how to dress um, write a resume go on a job interview it's just just, yes, uh, yes. it fashion it, it has so many different avenues yeah different components so, yeah um, yeah I'm excited to be working with um, the different shelters and you know getting cover me bold out there for bigger and greater things well this is so exciting in fact you've just answered my next question what do you see cover me bold going in the future and it looks like you really mapped this out and there is a scripture that says if we don't plan then will we be planned to fail so a man without a vision is like a city without walls and so I'm so excited and uh, we're all sitting in anticipation to see exactly what this is going to do uh, I can foresee so many people sewing and and seeing it in different local department stores so you're moving forward I think that you your projection is good what you've been through has absolutely been an awesome awesome uh, thing but guess what you've survived it and you are moving forward uh, question uh, where is Cynthia Shuaholic now are you free have you forgiven? Are you moving forward in such a way that you don't have restraints anymore? That what did not kill you has only made you stronger. 
Yes, I am totally free. Um, I have forgiven my son. I know a lot of people, even family members were, you know, like, that's still your son. Yes, that's still my son. I love him dearly and it's nothing that I wouldn't do for him. So I have forgiven him because Christ has forgiven Absolutely. us all. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Um, who am I not to forgive him? Yeah. So yes, I have forgiven him and I'm free to um, live my best life. Absolutely, living yeah. your best life. Living like my best life. Living your best life. Uh, I'm hoping that even in the future that God would bless and take your son to a level of total restoration and healing. And I like the fact that as women, many times we don't know how to move forward, but it appears, and I know with the help of God, that he has really restored you. You're sitting here today and you're an example, uh, a voice for women uh, that can survive and move forward and also forgive. Forgiveness is such a powerful tool that we need. And so now your business will operate and move forward because it it is seeded in the right soil. Uh, well, I'm so excited because I, I live, try to live my life with passion as you. And I'm so thankful that you've decided to launch this new Cover Me Bowl yes. collection. If you could tell us a little bit about that, uh, it's going to impact the strength of so many people. That day, we're going to sit there as you walk your own runway, as you give a voice and a credence to the fact that you are a unique woman of color, a powerful, empowered person that can get through anything. You will inspire so many other women to move forward, jump out of the boat, move out of mediocrity and dream, not only dream, their dream but do it and walk the runway of their own purpose you've kicked domestic violence in the butt and now you're ready to move forward so that day we're gonna sit back and we're all gonna be in a breathtaking moment saying there she is talk to us a little bit about uh, you're launching August the 18th what you expect the date the time where it's going to be yes it will be once again a Sunday August the 18th at 1257 North Milwaukee second floor it will start promptly at 4 p.m. early arrival is suggested the event sold out sold in out. a day and a half so I'm excited Woo. about this event and I'm um, just the people that will be there it's it's more than like I say just fashion it's yeah. I love people I'm a people person so it's it's going to be exciting is I have a lot of things planned for the attendees and I'm just looking forward to um, maximizing that moment this is so powerful. I hate to end this interview because I'm so enjoying uh, you and uh, what you represent. Cover me bold. I, I want everyone to look out. You know, you may see it and, and on billboards. Who knows? Uh, God is in this business and with God at the centerfold of your life and the business, you will go far. We bid you Godspeed and I look forward to having you back on the show to talk a little bit more in details about uh, what happened uh, we only have so much time today yes. but today cover me bold has represented this interview very well I thank you we love you we love what you represent today your beautiful shoes sandals your tuxedo <laughs> pants your survival shirt and beautiful your touch of red and your makeup is just flawless my darling <laughs> so Cynthia Shulholic and cover me bold we love you so much and we'll see you August the 18th as she launched her new line collection. God bless now.